Uh, let's turn our attention to uh, local government again. Now, we were talking about local government in a slightly negative uh, light uh, before 10 o'clock here on ABC Riverina. So let's talk about something that may actually improve some of the problems that people have with local government, because one of the big problems many people have is planning issues. State government is holding community forums across New South Wales to listen to uh, existing and future issues. Ron Dyer is the co-chair of the New South Wales Planning Review and he's joined us for a bit of a chat about this review ahead of some public uh, information sessions in Deniliquin tomorrow and in Griffith on Thursday. Ron Dyer, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Now this is uh, a fairly comprehensive run around New South Wales, isn't it? It's a very comprehensive run around New South Wales indeed. We're going to visit uh, in total 44 locations around the state over a two-month period. Uh, this present week is week four of our nine-week consultation. Okay, so what kind of things have people been raising in, in the uh, first few weeks of the statewide tour? They've been raising all sorts of issues. Some of them are um, really focused on regional area concerns. Um, the overriding issue is that people think that the planning legislation is far too complex. The present legislation is called the Environmental Planning and Assessment Act. It was enacted in 1979. Uh, governments have come and gone since then. Many um, amendments have been made and it's ended up um, looking like a patchwork. So it is overdue for renewal, there's no doubt about that. So um, is that going to be one of the outcomes of this process, is perhaps a comprehensive rewrite of things instead of you know, m more laying new bitumen over the old potholes? Yes, it will be a comprehensive rewrite. Um, Tim Moore and I are conducting this review and uh, we will come to the point where we really will be recommending that the uh, legislation be rewritten in plain English. Um, possibly we'll uh, participate that in that ourselves, but um, certainly the government um, will have a recommendation that the legislation should be simpler than it now is. Who should be getting along to sessions like this and how do you make your submissions? Well certainly um, council uh, staff, planners, should uh, get along to the submissions, to, to the consultations, and um, but any ordinary people, whether they're Farmers, um, townspeople, uh, whoever they happen to be, should get along to these sessions because um, people are expressing concerns that the uh, planning capacity in regional areas is an issue. Um, the phrase one size does not fit all is being used a lot. Uh, some people are saying there's a lack of sufficient consultation with local councils. There are all sorts of concerns that are being raised. Um, if people want to make a submission, they can just um, come up to um, one of our consultation sessions. There's one in Demilquin at the RSL Club Wednesday this week, either between 3 and 5 p.m., that's session number one, or 6 and 7.30 p.m., that's session number two. Um, and then on Thursday this week in Griffith, we're at Griffith Exis Club, again between those same times. 3 and 5 or 6 and 7.30. Now they are open to the public. If someone can't make to that, can they make it to one of those sessions? Can they pop in details via the web or, or uh, in writing? Yes, they, they can uh, send details by in writing. Um, our website is www.planningreview, www that's one word, dot nsw.gov.au. So anyone at all can contribute to this process and we're encouraging people to do so. Okay, so that's planningreview.nsw.gov.au and I'll give that web address again in a moment. Yeah. Uh, now, now, Ron Dyer, are you interested in hearing about specific issues or are you looking at more the broad brush why the system isn't necessarily working as it should? Well, we're interested in both. We certainly are interested in the whole picture. However, we are interested in detailed issues as well. Uh, for example, uh, farmers are sometimes complaining that um, there is an encroachment um, on prime agricultural land by 
uh, smaller subdivisions being affected by local councils. That's just one example of what people uh, are saying. Um, in some areas of the state, there is concern about um, coal seam gas extraction or, um, or mining developments. There are all sorts of issues and people can come along and raise any issue because after all, the, uh, the planning law does affect every parcel of land in the state. Indeed it does. Now I'll give the uh, times and venues and the web address again in just a moment. But Ron Dyer, all the best with the listening tour as it continues to make its way around New South Wales, but particularly as it goes through our region, Deliquin and Griffith, over the next couple of days. Thank you very much indeed, Chris. Ron Dyer is the co-chair of the New South Wales Planning Review. Now, the web address I'll give again in just a moment, but if you're in Deniloquin, then you want to get to the Deniloquin RSL Club for the public uh, session there tomorrow, or in Griffith at the Griffith Exes Club on Thursday. The times are the same in both venues. Uh, on uh, So for Deniloquin tomorrow, Griffith Thursday, 3 till 5 in the afternoon, or 6 till 7.30 in the evening. 3 till 5 or 6 till 7.30. If you would prefer to make your submission or get in touch via the web, you can do so. And there's also notes from each community forum being posted on the web so you can read what's been discussed in other areas as well. Uh, the web address is planningreview.nsw.gov.au. That's planningreview.nsw.gov.au. Uh, and just repeating the phone number for that breast cancer study before too, we've got to get in touch with Mark Von Ake's Her number is 0428 254 252. We've had a few people asking for that number again. 0428 254 252. Nightlife.